my name is Kim and I work at Calvert Woodley. Welcome to another Wine of the Week and Cheese Pairing. This week, our Wine of the Week is from the Cote Rhone. This wine is called the Rive Droite Rive Gauche, and all that means is right bank and left bank, so it's a little bit of everything. <laughs> this 2018 vintage is an everyday red wine that is probably on the tables of the people who made this right now. This wine is what we call a GSM blend. GSM is the initials of three different grapes, so we have Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvred. All three of these grapes bring something different to the blend, and we can be able to smell it too. Violets and blue florals, which is probably coming from the Mouvred. Candied cherry and red berries from the Grenache. A little bit of complexity with some dark fruit and a hint of meat, which is definitely coming from the Syrah. There is depth on the palate. We have intense fruit flavors and also a hint of tannins. This wine is the perfect thing to always have on hand for any of your dinner needs. This would go well with roasted vegetables, savory tofu, and meat. But you know, of course, at Calvert Woodley, we will also be pairing this with cheese. Now this wine has good complexity and is pretty intense in flavor. So we definitely want a cheese that is gonna stand up to that on the palate. Both of these cheeses have a pretty strong smell, so I think we're in for something good. We have the Taligio from Italy, and we have the Fromager Dauphinois from France. Now, the Taligio has been around for a really, really long time. It was actually used as currency in the 13th century. It has almost a rubbery texture. Mm. This cheese is made from cow's milk. Although it smells very strong when it's sitting here, on the palate, it's pretty mild. And it's got a little hint of fruitiness, which goes really well with the wine. And now for the Fromager de Affinois. This is a very creamy cheese, just like the Taligio. It is similar to Brie in that if you were to leave it out um, and serve it at room temperature, it'll actually become very silky and a little bit melty. Kind of like butter. Mm. This cheese was a little bit more sour than the first one, but it's also a really good pairing because in the wine, although there are some really nice ripe fruit flavors, I do get a hint of the sour cherry, and this goes really well with that. Thanks for joining for another wine and cheese pairing. Come into Calvert Woodley or find us online and check out our cheeses of the week and our wine of the week. Cheers!